Good morning, dragons, and welcome, and welcome to, to the Denim Oaks News Show. I'm Lily. I'm Cameron. Today's birthdays are Edward Pearson, Gabrielle Medina, Andrew Pope, Isabella Alvarez, Cadence Collins, Lily Gordon, Sai Dworky. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Today's lunches are PB and J sandwiches, turkey and gravy, cheese calzonettes, biscuit, garden sat salad, <laughs> mashed potatoes, apple sauce, fresh grapes, and milk choices. Kindergarten and first grade are doing a Sunshine State Junior activity about narwhals this week. Did you know that their tusk is actually a tooth and it can grow to be 10 feet long and they even have their own song? <laughs> Causing a commotion, cause they are so awesome. No walls, no walls, swimming in the ocean. Pretty big and pretty wide, they beat a polar bear in a fight. Like an underwater unicorn, they got a massive facial harm. They're the Jedi of the sea. They stop sea monsters eating you. No walls, they are no walls, no walls. Good morning, Denim Oaks, on this chilly, chilly Monday, or Tuesday actually. We had Monday off yesterday. Well, I've got some AR numbers, and I'm going to start with third grade, who I was hoping I was going to be celebrating and going, woo! All right, so here we go. We have Miss Chirpak with nine and three-tenths of a point, Miss Leet with zero, Miss Markinson, Martinson sorry, with five and two-tenths, Miss McBride with seven and eight-tenths, Miss Pfeiffer has three and four-tenths, Miss Pinkard, you've got eight and five-tenths, and taking it away again, Miss Presson. 28 and 5 tenths of a point. In fourth grade, I have Miss Ford with 79 and 9 tenths of a point. Miss LeBock and LeBrushen, you guys have 20 and 2 tenths of a point. Miss Mulligan, 11 and 4 tenths of a point. Miss Oswald, 151 and 7 tenths of a point. Miss Stewart, looking good at 88 and 5 tenths of a point. So congratulations, Miss Oswald's class gets to keep the banner for the week. All right, and in fifth grade, Miss Costin's class, 51 and 5 tenths of a point. Miss Daly, falling behind at 9 and 7 tenths of a point. La Riviere, picking it up, 75 and 8 tenths. Miss Sagan, 98 and 5 tenths. And Miss Whaley, 30 and 8 tenths of a point. So Miss Sagan, bringing the banner back. Nice job. Keep reading. Remember, February 1st is my next dog tag announcement, and I will see you next week. Keep reading. Now go to Mrs. Powers. Yes, I know it's cold outside, but you've worn jackets and hats and gloves, I'm sure. So teachers, please don't call the office and tell us how cold it is in the building. We are looking into why the heat is not working, I promise. And so students, as you take off your layers today though, please make sure that you're putting those hats and gloves and different things into your backpacks and the jackets, please make sure you wear them home even though it might be a little warmer when we head home. But yesterday, I was getting ready to say happy Monday, but it's really Tuesday because yesterday we had off of school because of a very important holiday. And that was to celebrate the work and mission of Martin Luther King. And so I found out some information that I did not even know about Martin Luther King Jr. And so I just thought I would share this with everybody first. He was famous and well known for his mission of equality and his I have a dream speech. And his I have a dream speech that was made him most famous was not his first speech. He was trying to make a difference in our world even before that I have a dream speech. He went to college at the age of 15. Boys and girls, he worked hard. He probably read lots of books, I'm sure. And he went to college at age 15. Another thing, I was so excited that his name was Martin because that was my dad's name and that's who I was named after. But his birth name on his birth certificate is actually Michael. And through his works, he changed it to Martin Luther King Jr. Because of his work, 
He also, many people were not happy with his works. And so he, was, he went to jail, but was freed because of, of his innocence. He went to jail 29 times. I thought that was pretty amazing because he didn't ever give up on trying to do what was best for all people. So what a historical figure. I know Caspian, I know some of you did research and you were uh, representing Martin Luther King in your museum. museum. Thank you. All right, so everybody have a great day. Stay warm. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.